Hello everyone and welcome to the seventh tutorial in our survival game series done by Brackies. I am the CEO of Brackies. And um, today we are going to take a look at something very exciting. Um, we are going to take a look at something called particle systems. Um, and these can make spells and magical effects and explosions and fire look so damn cool. And um, we're also going to take a look at something a little more practical, um, which is um, render settings. Okay, so if we go ahead and uh, open up Unity, I've already done this. Um, the scene is exactly as we left it this time, um, which is also why I want to make some quick uh, changes. So um, first of all, I just want to delete all of these animations. Um, these animations were for my last, um, my previous maze um, and not for the new one uh, that I made. So I'm going to delete these and just drag the new animation I made into that folder. Um, at some point I will do these animations again. Okay. Um, and I also want to make a new folder uh, called GUI and just drag the crosshair in there. And uh, yes, this should pretty much get us started. Uh, yes, also I want to uh, drag this maze and this sword out into the assets. Um, so if we go back here, we can now see that the two prefabs stored here so i want to right, right click and again make a new folder called prefabs i suggest that you do this too um it's a good way to organize everything you could also make subfolders like weapons and stuff but i i won't do this until it gets clouded with everything um and also i have forgotten to uh, click on the sword and then uh, remove the animator component oh i can see that the maze that i have here in my prefab um, it's not actually a prefab, it's just an import. So I'll go ahead and drag this back into uh, our input folder and then just select the maze in my, my scene and then drag this down so we have that as a preset. Um, a prefab, sorry. Okay, so um, first of all, let's go ahead and change the uh, settings. This is the boring part, though this can change a lot. So go to the edit button uh, above and go down to render settings. And in here you can do stuff like fog and ambient light. Um, these two are the most important settings. Um, so what fog is, is basically um, it will blur out objects in the distance uh, with a certain color. Um, so if I just go ahead and quickly make some objects and drag them out into the distance and put a light over them so that we can see what they actually are. So you can see them there. Um, and uh, I'll just maximize the game view a little bit. Um, so if we go ahead under the uh, render settings again, and then enable the fog, you can see that they get blurred with a grayish color while nothing happens to the foreground. Uh, and so you can adjust this color. You could make it red-ish, uh, some orange. If you're in a desert, you could make it um, light bluish. If you're um, close to the sky or in, in a snowish environment, um, you could make it darker if you were making a horror game. And so you can play around with this. This can add uh, cool depth um, without putting too much pressure on the uh, graphics card and processor so um but for now i'll just keep this disabled i just wanted to give you the uh the you the opportunity and once we start creating our uh, landscape then i will re-enable this properly um ambient light and this is something that i uh, had people ask me um because they say oh i want to make a room that is completely dark except for the one light that i have um, and I can't do that. And why is that? This is because of the ambient light. Um, so right now you can see that this is a, this is set to a, a grayish dark gray color. Um, and uh, so this is the darkest color that can be shown in your scene. So even if you don't have any lights, 
this is it. Um, so if you want to make a horror game, I recommend that you drag this all the way down. Now you can see that all the parts of my scene that is on LED gets um, overflown with this color. So uh, generally, you don't want uh, to have things that isn't lit at all. Um, you want some kind of lighting, else every single piece of detail that you made will just disappear. But um, for something like an adventure game or a survival game or a RPG, you generally want things to be pretty well lit. So uh, for now, we'll just keep this at the uh, grayish color also. Um, Okay, so go up to edit and then project settings and then quality. And um, this is actually what you also call for the render settings. Um, so you can see that we have the different levels. This is just presets of settings that Unity has set up for us. And the green uh, little marks here means that this is what the different platforms. So this could be web the PC, the Mac, it could be iPhone, uh, all these different plat platforms um, will use by default. Um, so first of all, let's go ahead and say that this will be fantastic for all of them by simply um, using the smaller downwards pointing arrows here. And um, let me just get closer to the mic. And um, so let's go ahead and click on the fantastic level and then let's crank up some of the settings. So the pixel light count is basically how many lights you can see reflecting off one surface. So if I add, uh, if just I just set this to one and then add a whole bunch of lights, um, I'll just go ahead and delete the um, the stuff I made in the background here. Um, so this was the duplicates. Delete that and delete the light. Okay, uh, so if we make a whole bunch of lights and put them in, in different places on the surface, you can't seem to um, be able to see any difference. Um, it might get lighter, but um, as soon as we crank it up, so project settings, quality, and then change this to maybe five, you can start to see specularity and also in the game view. So uh, this is basically um, how detailed you want the lighting to be. And I think that we want the lighting to be a whole lot more detailed than just four because um, this actually doesn't take off that much uh, power it's not even that heavy so let's just set this to a hundred for now um this is a heavy number and we won't be using that much it's just to set say um don't cut it down texture quality definitely want this to be full res uh this simply may uh, makes the textures uh you, you can simply make the textures look worse and therefore take less um power to render um and uh, and it's so tropic textures um, you should leave this at forced on this is fine I won't explain what it actually does anti-aliasing um, anti-aliasing is um, uh, is, is simply a smoothing of the edges so if I go ahead and disable this and you take a look at some of the edges here um, you can see that they are not so smooth again um, and if I crank this up to 8 they uh, all the pixel arrows just gets um, completely cut off. So um, you want this as high as possible, but uh, this is pretty heavy. Um, so for now, we can just leave this as four because I'm re recording meanwhile. But generally, the fantastic setting in a game should leave this at eight. But uh, for now, let's leave it at four. Um, no, no, you know what, let's leave the fantastic level at 8 and then just test at the beautiful level that we'll create in a second. Um, so soft particles, you want this. And you can play around with the shadows, the, though this only matters when uh, you have Unity Pro. And this you can just leave alone. So uh, go under the beautiful and now I'll just quickly type some things in. So this will be 75. Full rest, forced on four times anti-aliasing, 
shadow distance will be, um, let's say, 100. And again, four cascades. And uh, the good should be 50. And then, hmm, yeah, still full res. Uh, per texture, though, anti aliasing 2, uh, soft particles still. And the shadows look fine. Symbol should be about 25. Um, and then f full res per texture disabled, no soft particles, and the shadows look fine. Fast should be about 10. Um, full res, um, no anisotropic textures, no anti-aliasing, no soft particles. Um, we can still have some shadows, maybe. That's your call. Uh, call. And fastets. Fastets. Uh, fastest <laughs> uh, pixel light count 5 half res uh, no 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 disable shadows and you'll be good to go alright so uh, let's leave that, this at beautiful while we are testing um, so we can go ahead and save and control s and go back to the assets folder and um, while we'll always, uh, we have already spent uh, 12 minutes so, okay, this is the end of this part. Uh, in the next part, we'll cover the particles. I'm sorry that I had to cut this up. Um, so, thank you for watching. Let's go!